Hey, Mr. Josh, how you doing, buddy? Hey, I want to go through um, this bias setup uh, with you because you're going to definitely need to do that when you put those new tubes in there, at least check it. So I've just got the camera pointed to the chassis here. And um, I've got a 4-ohm load in here right now because I don't have a 2-ohm load. But, um, but that's good enough. Uh, you just don't want to go below your impedance, but above is, is okay. So we got a load on here. Everything's plugged in. Volume's turned down um, to zero. And I'm gonna set all the tone controls here, five. Reverb everything off, right? So in order to, and I'm gonna use this little Fluke 117 here. That's what I have for a meter. Now I've got a bunch of other meters and a lot of times when I build these amps, I'll hook everything up at once so I can, can monitor everything at one time. But for now, we're gonna start with this. So, turn your amp on, let it warm up. Now, if you're gonna work on this thing, I'm gonna tell you the same disclaimer everybody else tells you, there's lethal voltages in here that will kill you, and that's true. And so, uh, not always, but you definitely don't wanna get a hold of it, and do not get in this amp with both hands at the same time. The other thing too, I've got this gold watch on and a ring, let's pull all that stuff off. Probably a bad idea to be working on electronics with gold on. Let's pull this guy off here and we'll set it down. All right. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I got the amp on, everything's cool. I'm gonna take my ground. I've got one of these little clippy guys here um, that kind of makes life easier. If you don't have one of those, use a test lead or something so you just got one hand free. And we'll just connect that right up here to the ground bus. Any ground is fine. And as you can see right now, nothing going on, right? So take your fluke, set it over here on DC voltage. All right, and set that guy up where you can see it. And the first place we're gonna probe is I put these little jumpers in here. And uh, let me get the camera a little closer here and show you. It's these guys right here. So this is a great place to measure your plate voltage. You can also do that on pin three on either one of your tubes. So I'm gonna take this guy, stick it right there. We got 442 volts. It's good plate voltage. All right, so we have to always know that number if we're gonna set our bias. And these, these fenders are, are um, pretty steady on that. So the other place is, is if you look right here, these two coupling caps, right in the center of these guys, there's a couple of 220 ohm resistors that make a V. And that's a great place to grab some bias voltage. So, we take our meter here, keep our eye on it, we'll grab the voltage there. And we see there were 49.6 um, milliamps, so that's negative, right? If you don't have a, you know, my other meters will measure milliamps. I don't know if this one will do it. I don't think it does actually, no. Okay, so that's fine. So there's where we're at. So there's where we about wanna be. The kind of rule is 450 plate, right? 50 on the bias. That's a good, great starting place. This one's a little lower than 450. We're gonna do about 49. That's right in the ballpark and that's really all you need to do. If you gotta adjust it right here, on this guy, there's your there's your bias pot. So you can turn that guy slowly and watch your meter and uh, and set, set your bias. So you're going to want to do that for um, for this entire amp when you get those new tubes in there. You don't have to worry about the preamp tubes; they're already biased automatically by these resistors that are. Let me get a, something to poke with here. So these, these resistors in here, are these, these silver coupling caps, these, those are cathode bypass caps. These resistors in here, as you can see, are basically what sets the bias on these, these tubes here. Now, let's run through some of your voltages here. So we know our plate. We've got 440 there. Now, one thing I do want to say is I use a Variac up here, okay, that guy. 
and then I've got it plugged into a box and right now we're sitting at move this cord out of the way 119 volts so that's good you know you don't want to bias your amp if you're sending 125 volts or whatever into it so I always try to bias it right around 120 in fact let me crank that guy up to the 120 one volt right there we are and 446 447 you see just a little bit of voltage makes a difference and then the bias right at 50 right where we talked about a minute ago all right so if we go through this and we come over here to this first set of blue resistors here and i just grab there you know the amp's going to make a little noise that's my 260 volts on those plates on your pr first preamp tube that's great you know anywhere on a super reverb from 240 to 270 is great your center channel 254 252 no problem these cathode bypass caps these silver guys should be anywhere between a volt and two volts and check that guy 1.9 two volts 2.1 7.9 that's fine because that's part of the cathode uh, this cap right here on your tremolo circuit and then if we come if we just move on over to just like so now some hot spots in this amp you got to be careful of okay where this red wire comes in right here i don't know if you could see it on the camera that guy is to off your reverb transformer that's going to be full b plus voltage look at 445 know if you could see it from the glare Another spot coming into the tremolo off directly off the filter caps. And you can see it moving around because of the of the circuit there. So we're about 415 on that guy. All looking good. We keep on moving this direction towards the power section. We've got again, it's pulsing there because of this this bug right here, this LED. We get over in this area right here, the power section. This is the plates for your phase inverter. So we're going to check those. 246, 232. These come off of your filter caps as well. It's feeding it right here on this brown wire in the center. You'll see it, 432. So these resistors are dropping that voltage down a little bit, these, these uh, coupling caps here. This is part of your phase inverter. We're looking at 64 volts on the... Uh, left side or the one meg resistor the other one with this little cap right here 60 volts all that's fine this middle one should be around 90 it's 95 so all these voltages are looking great so we're good to go on that so that's kind of the basic stuff that you want to kind of look at if you ever have a problem with your amp you're trying to troubleshoot it the very first thing is grab your voltmeter start checking those voltages that'll kind of tell you a lot of things all right so if you have any questions, give me a call. I can help you through it. I'll say it again. Be extremely careful in this amp when it's on because those voltages are, are pretty lethal. All right, buddy. Thanks.